first views of uh, Endeavour traveling 700 miles per hour at an altitude of 52,000 feet. Commander Dom Gorey flying uh, Endeavour. Altitude 40,000 feet. Traveling just under 600 miles per hour. From this altitude, this is an operational altitude for a commercial airliner. Endeavour will be on the runway in about three minutes. Signaling the arrival of Endeavour into the uh, landing area. Just under three minutes to landing. This view through the uh, uh, pilot point of view camera. The heads up display, altitude 29,000 feet. Pilot Gray. On at the 180. Copy, on at the 180. Pilot Greg Johnson taking his turn flying uh, Endeavour around the heading alignment circle. He'll shortly hand that back, uh, flying back to uh, Commander Dom Gorey. And Commander Dom Gorey uh, has uh, the stick again, flying Endeavour through the last couple of minutes of its uh, mission. Endeavour, on at the 90. Endeavour, on at the 90. Thanks, Jim. Altitude 18,000 feet, time to touch down just under two minutes. Endeavour is still traveling 425 miles per hour. Approaching the Kennedy Space Center from the northwest. Copy field and sight, Endeavour. Altitude 13,000 feet. Commander Dom Gorey uh, notifying mission control. He sees the uh, runway. Altitude 8,000 feet. Six thousand feet. Five thousand feet. Pre-flare maneuver uh, coming up shortly, approaching three thousand feet. Two miles from the runway. orbits of the Earth while traveling 6,578,000 6, miles. This landing marks the 16th night landing at the Kennedy Space Center and 22nd in the history of the shuttle program. Tonight's landing is the 68th at, at KSC. Endeavour spent almost 12 docked days to the International Space Station, a record leaving the station larger and more capable than it was before. European Space Agency astronaut Leopold Ahartz returning home after 48 days in space, 44 of those aboard the International Space Station.